Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome to part 49 of my Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. Last time I finished things up at the Seafloor Cavern and I went to Sutopolis and there's a lot of chaos going on over there. And in this video I am going to be awakening Rayquaza or talking to him or whatever. I'm here at the Sky Pillar. And look, it's Wallace! Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I'd left you behind. I've opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. Jake, let's be on our way. Uh-oh, what was that? It's an earthquake! Oh, great. And now we have to walk with him. Why does he look like his eyes are shut? Rayquaza should be farther up from here, though. <laughs> Sorry, that's just a kind of a... That's a quote that I reference quite a bit from Funny Winners. Uh, Zero Xerox version of Comedy Vickers, basically. It's it's kind of a... It's kind of a spoof. I don't know if you call it a spoof. I don't know. It's it's, it's like a parody. I don't know. It's like, it's, it's like an adult version of Comedy Vickers, basically. Anyways... Wow, it's weird to see, like, hardly any holes in this place. Oop, nope. Okay. Let me go up this one. And then we go down over here, and then we loop around. I guess I could use my bike. Oh, well. Hey, it's Rayquaza! I think. I don't know if it's going to be Rayquaza when we actually fight it. I'm kind of curious, actually, to find that out. I might actually even do that, like, before I beat the game. Because I'm really curious to see if, it, if it's going to be Rayquaza or if it's going to be, like, another Pokemon. Um, do I have an escape rope? Do, are, I don't know if escape ropes work here. No, they don't. Do they... It might just be this floor, actually. Do they work on the next floor? Yes, okay. Right, so it's only the, the room with Rayquaza. Okay, now we have to go back to Sutop... What? Why would it bring me back over here? Oh my gosh, that is so stupid. <sighs> Alright. Actually, I wonder what kind of wild Pokemon you can find here. Maybe I shouldn't have used that Max Repel. Oh well, I'll probably, um, like, like I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be back here very soon. Like I said, probably the next video, actually. And no. So we wanna throw, fall through this hole. Yeah, no, I definitely prefer the Sky Pillar music from the remakes. And we're actually going to be hearing that theme for, like, 10 seconds. In just a second here, actually. Because it does play in this game, but for a very short amount of time. Alright, we're going to fly back to Zootopolis. And here we go! I'm going to be quiet for this part. That is so epic. I love that part. And that music is so good. And by doing that, everything is returned to normal. I, I don't really know how that works, but whatever. Franklin, you surf. Okay. <clears throat> Get out of my way, please. So that's Rayquaza. It's incredible. The dude rampaging Pokemon would flee it from... Inf okay, so is he going to get out of the way? Do we have to, like... Oh, I guess I have to go, like, into a building or something and come back. Why is Wallace still blocking the way? That's kind of annoying. I guess we'll just have to do this. What? 
Are you gonna leave? Leaders of Team Magma and Aqua. I don't think they meant harm. I... Wait a second. Wait, what? I thought they're supposed to go away. Oh, we have to talk about both of them. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, sorry. I was kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> HMO7, that is Waterfall. Whoop de doo. The rain badge. I don't have the rain badge, and you're kind of preventing me from getting it because you're blocking the gym. Can you please get out of the way? Thank you. Holy crap. Okay, anyways. So we're gonna do this. I haven't actually had any battles yet in this video. But I'm going to soon. Yeah, I, I messed up again. Okay. Do do Hello. The grace would glide across the ice while crossing no lines. A trainer putting on that performance would be elegantly beautiful. Speaking of which, why is there only women in this gym? Well, aside from Guan. Boss Alex has an Azumarill. Actually, you find Azumarills in this gym normally. Which is kind of funny. Okay. Let's Thunderbolt this Azumarill. We're back in my party. Oh, dang it. Oh, man. Mm. Are you serious? <sighs> Darn it all. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm gonna have to try to get by most of these trainers without getting noticed. Excuse me. Go away. Okay, can I get through? I'm gonna slide right down in front of these two. Easily. Oh, nope, never mind. Just gonna go like this. Goodbye. Ah, great. I'll show you the sublime techniques I learned from our leader, Juan. Great. I always wonder where Juan was in Ruby and Sapphire. Okay, you've only got one Pokemon, you've got a Natsu. Well, that's gonna work out beautifully for Chakotay here. Natsu goes down. And there we go. <laughs> Forget me. You know, I, 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 I was gonna, you know, I was gonna say if you had a better Pokemon, but I, again, everything's randomized. So I guess they can't help the Pokemon that they have, but still. Okay, anyways, what do you have? And has a Banet. All right, so we'll just bite this thing. Do, 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 do. Faint attack. Ouch. All right, so all I'll do is I'll leave this gym. Uh, I'll go back and get Death Flare, but I'm gonna cut. I'll, I'll, I'll cut that part out. <clears throat> Level forty-five. <gasps> thunder. It's learning thunder on its own. Uh. Let's get rid of, ah, let's get rid of quick attack. I mean, if it's learning thunder by itself, I might as well take advantage of it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab Deathfire out of the PC. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay. I've got Deathfire, I healed up, and I'm good to go. Came all the way here, but you won't get to see one. I, I've already seen him. I mean, I haven't battled him, but I actually physically saw him. Like, I could see him sitting there in the gym leader spot. Okay, you have a C dot. This works out beautifully for me. Skyfrost over here is gonna take you out, no issues at all. No questions asked. Ice Beam, goodbye C dot. Ciao. I think I used a C dot in the, in the early parts of my Ruby Let's Play. 
Ooh, you have your own Articuno. That's kind of cool. I'm going to switch out, though. Um, yeah, I think it was like... Um, like, like, like in the first six parts, I think. Like, the original... The original Ruby Let's Play. Like, back in 2011. Almost 10 years ago, which is crazy. Yeah, let's just overheat this. Let's overheat. It's super effective! Yes, it is. I think I've seen more Articunos than anything in this in this series. Like, I think, I, even though I have my own Articuno, like, I've seen more trainers have an Articuno than a Moltres or a Zapdos. I've found, I've found more in the wild, for sure. Okay, we got, it looks like we have a couple of Bell Battles we can trigger here, so let's go ahead and do that. When I'm with my Pokemon, the time flies by before you can say oops. You mean like that Yu-Gi-Oh card? I don't think I'm a pushover. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, goodness. They got a full team of six. Pseudo would on a Banette. I've already seen a Banette in this gym. Okay, so let's, um... Steel Wing, you. And let's... Aerial Ace, you. Do, 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 do. Binette goes down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> there we go. Pseudo Widow goes down. And I get a defense boost. Do I care? Not exactly, but... I mean, I'll take it. Let's see. Oh, it hit my chan. Interesting. Okay, so then I'll probably now use the Ice Beam on Wobbuffet. And then I'll use Aerial Ace and hit my chan. Uh, Blizzard. And then Aerial Ace and hit my chan. We'll do it like that. Just to get a little more extra. Just to get a little bit of extra damage on the, uh, the Wobbuffet. Wow. Oh, well, that's fine because I'm using Aerial Ace on him, anyways. I actually strongly considered using a survivor on my team for this. Orenberry. Alright, so. Oh man, I guess we'll just have to go all out on the uh, on the Wobba Fed because honestly, <clears throat> this thing's defense is like insane. Which kind of bugs me. Wait, what? How does that do more than Blizzard? Survivor, you swagger. That's really weird. All right, so, ah oh, man, let's just ice beam him. I don't know why I went all the way around like that. And then let's just dragon rage with slowpoke. This battle will be over soon. <clears throat> there we go. Survivor goes down. Dragon rage. Okay. Water gun? You didn't. You don't know an ice step. Well, I guess maybe you don't know. You probably, yeah, I guess you don't know an ice step attack. But still, an ice type move would be really good against a dragonite. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do against this thing. Maybe ice beam wasn't the best move. Oh, I'm actually. Believe it or not, I'm actually okay with that. To be quite honest. And a critical hit from the Aerial Ace. Okay. I'll take that. No complaints here. Whoops! I was beaten. 12,004. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of money! Holy crap. That's a lot of money. Jeepers. Okay, anyways, giggle. Your, your grim look is so charming. Pokemon Gym is the highest level in the home region. That's the Sutopolis gym. Okay. Let's see what you ladies have. Chloe and Thomas, Machop and a Poliwhirl. Is that a joke? 
Okay, so Aerial Ace and... I don't even know. Fly on the Machop. Uh, maybe that should have done the other way around, actually. May, that may have been a better option. Oh, well. What can you do about it? Okay, enough. I never understood how Double Slap can hit more than more than twice. Because it's called Double Slap, not Quintuple Slap. Alright. That should take out the Machop, no problems at all. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <clears throat> There we go. Oh, two, two. Thank you. 22,000? Wait a second. Are they both only aiming the coins? I'm wondering, why is the money so high? Oh no, they're not. Interesting, okay. Wow, that's a lot of 22,000, I did not think it'd be that. That's a lot of stinking money, my goodness. So I have one conducting the battle. The very beauty that compelled me to become a trainer. I can battle with really rare Pokemon if you'd like. What if I don't like? What are you gonna do? You're gonna leave here and go to the Pokemon Center and switch out? Yanma and a Wind Bell. Okay, so let's Ice Beam, the Wind Bell, and Aerial Ace, the Yanma. Why haven't you why haven't you evolved into Yamega? Oh wait a second, Yanmega didn't exist when this game came out. Hey, level 45 for Skyfrost. Nice. Traction should be getting up a level 2 soon. Dawn Fan. I would have been okay with having a Dawn Fan on my team. Okay, so we'll just Ice Beam again. Air Gilly, or Critical Hit. I'm not thinking, apparently. <laughs> well, this is just my lucky day, apparently. Having the move, like, wow. Okay, so we'll just Ice Beam the Dawn Fan and Aerial Ace the Silicoon, or Silicoon. Perfect. And Aerial Ace should knock out the Silicoon, and that will be it. And the only trainer we'll have left to take out in this gym would be Juan. Juan. There we go. Servant Joe, you battle with more beauty than an I could muster. Oh, there now. Did you have a good look at my Pokemon? Get out of here. Holy crap, 21. Yo, what is going on? These people are rich. No, that's not what I wanted to go to. Let's take a look at my money. $400,000. I hit the $400,000 from that. That's crazy. Okay, guys, I'm going to end things off there. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Next time, I'm going to be taking on the final gym leader of the game. And I'm actually going to go attempt to catch Rayquaza because I'm really curious to see if it's going to be Rayquaza. I still have no idea. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you for watching.